So we really need to build in, I think, uh, into our institutions and our practices the ability to hang on to operating systems and applications over a long period of time. There's intellectual property associated with these things, uh, at least in some cases. So we're going to have to invent schemes that in provide incentive for people to keep that older software around so that it can be used. Maybe it's in the clouds and maybe we emulate some of these things. Uh, now, the model that I've had in my head up until last night uh, when I was talking with Thomas Rosler uh, was sort of a single computer with an application running on it and a thing that it interpreted. And I was sort of comfortable with the idea of, okay, we'll park the operating system in the cloud and we'll emulate the hardware and we'll put the application there and we'll make an arrangement for whoever owns it to allow us to do that. Uh, but then uh, it, it, uh, in the course of the conversation, I realized that some of the stuff that you're doing uh, creates a distributed computation environment and it's that distributed computation environment that is doing the application. And the data is distributed across, you know, the gigantic, like we do at, at Google with uh, the map and reduce structures and big table and so on. And so suddenly it isn't just a question of preserving this one instance of an application on running on a particular operating system. It's figuring out how to preserve and replicate a distributed computing environment over time. Eek! That's hard, and that says I don't even know how to think about that yet. So the problem is that if we don't find solutions to these things, we will leave a pile of rotten bits for our descendants. And in the 22nd century, they'll look back on the 21st century and they'll wonder what was life like because they won't have any way of looking at all of our, by that time, rotten bits unless we figure out how to preserve applications.